What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to theme some of the stock apps on a Galaxy S5. These themed apps have all had their predominant color scheme changed to black, and as we know, black saves battery life on an AMO LED screen like the one in the S5. These themed assets were all compiled by developer K. Dio, but they were made in the form of a flashable zip. And since the AT&T and Verizon variants of the Galaxy S5 don't have a custom recovery, I took the time to port these zips into themed versions of the APKs myself. So this is a Gadget Hacks exclusive of sorts, but you'll find all of the download links over at the link in the description below. Beyond that, you'll just need to be rooted to get these blacked out apps running on your S5. And I've also got a guide linked out of the full tutorial that will have you rooted in under a minute, so give that a try if you don't have super user access already. But the first step is to download the APK file for the app that you'd like to theme. There's five of them in total. You can download one, or you can download all five, but the process will be the same no matter how you go. So once you've got one of the themed APK files, go ahead and open your favorite root-enabled file browser. I'll use FX File Explorer to demonstrate, and that's a free app that you can download from Google Play. So aside from initial setup stuff with FX, you'll want to jump right into your download folder. This is where you'll find the themed APK file that you just downloaded from my article. So long press it, then select Cut from the menu. Next, head back to the home screen of FX and tap the System Root folder. You'll need to give it root access at this point if you haven't done so already. And beyond that, just be sure to tick I understand and press OK on the message you'll see. So after that, just head into the system folder. Now all of these files go into one of two subfolders here inside the system folder, either app or priv app. And I've got a list of which files go in which of the two folders over at the full tutorial. So just head into the corresponding folder, then locate the file that you're trying to theme. It'll have the same exact name as the theme APK that's currently sitting in your clipboard. Now before you can make any changes to the files inside this folder, you'll need to tap the unlock button up top to mount it read write. Just tick the box next to I understand and press OK on this message. Then you'll be able to edit the files in this folder. So now long press the existing file that shares your themed APK's name, then hit rename on the next menu. From here just add a dot back to the end of the file name. Then press OK. This way you'll have a backup of the stock version in case you ever want to revert. But then, just hit the clipboard button and paste your file right into this folder. With that out of the way, long press this newly pasted file and choose Permissions. Just make sure that the Owner category is set to Read and Write, and all others are set to just Read. Now if you want to theme any of the other apps, just repeat this process with the corresponding files. Other than that, all that's left to do now is reboot your phone. Okay, so now that we're back up, let's check out some of the themed apps. There's Settings which looks great in all black. Even the list view has the theme applied. Next, let's check out the clock app. It looks a whole lot better this way, in my opinion. Then there's the calculator app, which, like the rest of these, will save you a bit of battery life with their black backgrounds. And the stock messaging app got itself a makeover as well. Finally, there's the multi-window interface. Much better than that bright, almost white background that it used to have. But again, for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.